continuing to discuss Marigold Dream Star Grand Prix finale from September 28, 2024. We're up to the third match, which saw Victoria Yuzuki take on Nori. Let me tell you something right now. I know Victoria Yuzuki. She got her start in stardom. She still has less than one year experience, and she's incredible. She went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Momo Watanabe, Starlight Kid, and others, and showed them that they had to be wary of facing her. I mean, she really has this wrestling stuff down. She is the future ace of Marigold. There is no doubt in my mind. I like her. Big fan. Now, I tell you all that to tell you I have just discovered Nori. And I don't know where the hell she comes from, but I hope she sticks around Marigold because she is amazing as well. Her strikes are as good as anybody in the business. I'll repeat that. Her strikes, Nori's strikes, are as good as anybody's in the business. Her kicks especially are lethal. And I enjoyed every second of this match as these two kicked each other's asses around the ring for the entire match. Neither one of them backed down for a second. There were swinging kicks. There were super kicks. There were jumping kicks. This was a battle of kicks. Now, you could say, oh, you don't want to be limited to just that. They're not. They're not. But the kick stood out to me because I could feel them sitting in front of my computer monitor as I watched this. But Yuzuki, and both of them even have a run up the ropes while holding your opponent's hand and dive off and smash their face into the ground move. I don't know what you call that. But it's great, and both of them do it. This was a perfect bout. Now, but this, I'm not saying it's match of the year. But these styles matched so well, worked so well that it was just unbelievably fun to watch this match. Like I said, it started out, there was no handshake. Uh, they just started out kicking at each other. It started out with, um, excuse me, started out with Nori. I didn't want to misuse her name. I almost said Yori again. I'm new to Marigold. Bear with me. Uh, Yori running up the ropes and doing that move to, that I talked about earlier. Yuzuku responded with drop kicks and a body slam. Um, Nori responds with a big kick to the face, followed by a running punt to the lower back, and a ridiculously good-looking knee smash, running knee smash, to the head and face of Victoria Yuzuki. Then, this girl, pronouns pal, right? This girl, Nori, she picks up Yuzuki and, and holds the back of her head and lifts her knee into her face numerous times. It was brutal. This was Brian Danielson type of stuff, folks. But Yuzuki continues to fight back, showing, um, showing Nori that, again, I keep wanting to say Yori, bear with me, showing Nori that she can kick with the best of them too, kicking her between the ropes and doing her move where she runs up to the top rope and jumps down and smashes her opponents into the head, followed with a big single leg drop kick. But Nori is not done. She delivers a massive super kick to the chin of Victoria Yuzuki. But Yuzuki is up and gets a big bridging suplex and gets a two count. But as she picks Nori up, she gets a spinning buzzsaw style kick to the side of her head and a big back body drop. But as Yuzuki's standing up, she delivers like a mule kick to the chin of Nori. But Nori responds with another buzzsaw high heel kick to the head of Yuzuki. I don't know how these girls survived this match. But I could feel that Yuzuki felt like maybe it was getting close to the end for her. And she needed to wrap this up. So she caught her in that unbelievable rolling La Magisteriel type of move. Where she just spins and rolls her opponent about six to eight times on the ground. Switching positions. You have to see it to believe it. And it, it dazes, confuses, and bewilders her opponents. And nine times out of ten leads to the pin, as it did here. So, Victoria Yuzuki gets the, gets the greater points in this tournament. Beating an unbelievable Nori, who I want to see more of. She has climbed to the top of my favorites list. I, I'm going to look her matches up. Uh, again, Victoria Yuzuki already knew, already love, already say she's great. And she won this match, obviously. But I have to know more about Nori because before this match, I knew nothing. I'm going to go back and watch her matches in this tournament for sure. But she goes down here to the better, Victoria Yuzuki. But man, they got a star in her. And if they don't sign her, meaning Marigold doesn't sign her to a contract, they're insane. Great stuff here. Again.
after the match, Yuzuki on the microphone, Victoria Yuzuki. I don't know what she said. I wish I did, but it enraged Nori, and she had tacked her, and they had to pull them apart. So let me tell you, if they will sign Nori and put these two in a forever feud where they're always battling each other on and off, you know what I mean? Not, not nonstop, but where they're continual enemies or what have you, oh, my God, they've got themselves a million dollars in this feud. And I hope that's what happened. Great, great stuff. 